Another one bites the dust And another one gone And another one gone Another one bites the dust Hey, hey I'm gonna get you too Another one bites the dust Tailgating at five o'clock, packing it in. So, I mean, I mean, just look at it. I mean, this is this is awesome. Hey, 2019 Patriots! Just wanted to say, congrats on your season. It's exciting to see you guys carrying some momentum into the off season and getting her done in the playoffs. Um, just want to give a quick shout out to the linemen for doing work, making your running backs look good. Um, but I also realize that running backs, they're, they're working hard, too. You guys are carrying people in the end zone and all that stuff. Hey, guys, I just wanted to say good luck and keep doing what you're doing. Let's go get that district championship trophy. What's up, fellas? Just want to say good luck on Saturday, and you guys already know what the deal is. Saturday's here for the boys, and you them boys, so go out and get some. 2019 Patriots, congratulations on your fine season. I'm Marcus Lazier. I played on the inaugural BD football team in 1993. My son Jordan played on the last BD team to win a district in 2012. His team used to have a saying, it was, sharks gotta eat. How that applies is as follows. It's like a shark in the ocean. When it kills its prey, it's not out of hate or malice. It's out of survival. And that's exactly how the high school football playoffs work. You survive and you move on. So if you're playing on the offensive line in that game, you fit in on a run block and you pancake someone, sharks gotta eat. If you're playing tailback, you take a hand off, square your shoulders to the line, run someone's ass over, sharks gotta eat. If you're playing linebacker, you make your read, you hit some kid so hard his mom feels it up in the stands, Sharks gotta eat. You're back at DB. You jump a route and take it to the house. Sharks gotta eat. I think on Saturday in Royal Oak, Michigan, the BD Patriots are gonna walk on someone else's field and bring back home another district championship. Sharks gotta eat, boys. Boys, I'm extra, extra proud of you guys for what you've accomplished so far this season and going into the second round of the playoffs. You have an awesome opportunity in front of you. Don't look at it as a challenge. It's an opportunity to do things that the program hasn't done in quite some time. I would give anything other than my wife and my kids. I'd give anything to put the red, white, and blue one more time to play with my brothers from high school that I still consider some of my best friends for life. What an awesome opportunity for you. It's only going to take a few things for you guys to do. Number one, you need to make sure you go out and attack. Don't react to things. Go out and attack. Number two, respond positively at all given times during the game. You're going to have positive adversity. You're going to have negative adversity. How are you going to respond at those good times and those bad times throughout the game? Be disciplined in the moment throughout the game. Number four, have fun, man. You guys are creating memories that are going to last a lifetime. People always say that uh, I would forget about my last high school game and our last high school game when we lost in the semifinals my senior year, and I still have not gotten over that loss. All right? Go out there. Play for the BD Pride. When people ask where I'm from, I don't say Deerfield, I say Britain Deerfield. Wear it with pride, play for one another, play strong, stick together throughout the course of the game, and come out on top. Go BD, and like I said, I would do anything to have one more opportunity to go play with my brothers. Good luck this weekend, guys. Go BD. Um, just want to give a quick message to seniors and even underclassmen. 
you're not given many games for the amount of work you put into football. Um, I think that's what makes it a very special sport and the amount of time you spend with your, your friends and your coaches is just it's there's nothing like it there's nothing like football um so cherish these moments hit them hard and have fun because you'll, you'll be talking about this stuff till you're my age and beyond so congrats and have fun um keep putting the beat on them see you hi man this is dan masolowitz i'm the head football coach at Alabama college in 2000 graduate of britain deerfield First, let me say what an awesome privilege it is to be able to do this video and be part of your prep week. Um, I'm really excited about this opportunity coming up. You guys have made us very proud as Britton Deerfield alumni, and I'm very proud to be able to call myself Britton Deerfield alumni. Um, very proud of your season so far. Congratulations on an awesome uh, season leading up to this, and good luck this week. Um, but you're not done. You're not done. Um, there's no doubt that you have great memories that you made so far this season. Um, those will last a lifetime, there's no question about it. Um, some of you may be wearing varsity jackets right now. A lot of you have great trophies and awards and all that kind of great stuff. At the end of the day, those trophies will collect dust. And those memories are going to fade. Uh, when you get our age, uh, they start to fade. Football is going to end for all of us at some point. What lasts beyond that? is the relationships that you build with your teammates and your coaches, from the man to the left and to the right of you right now. Um, so our challenge is this week to play for them. Play for them because that's what lasts beyond football. That's what football is about. Those relationships that we build is because of football. We're still great friends with all of our Britain Deerfield alumni now. We stay in the same text. Um, that, uh, that you guys may have and rip on each other like we were 17 and 18 years old again. We're great men. We know each other's wives, our kids, moms and dads 20 years later. So play for the man to the left and to the right of you this week. Play the game the way it's meant to be played with an unmatched passion and an unmatched physicality. Good luck this week. Go get a W and beat E for life. Hey boys, congratulations on making it to playoffs. Keep working hard and you'll keep moving forward. But I just want to say football is not just a sport, it's also a brotherhood. Some of those guys you will know for the rest of your lives. I'm still best friends with a lot of the guys that I played with and it's an amazing feeling. Go Patriots. Hey guys, my name is Steven Judkins, a 2002 graduate. I want to wish you the best of luck in the playoffs. One thing I want you to do is take a moment in that locker room and look around. Look at the friendships you guys have built, the memories you have made. Still to this day, my closest friends are my former teammates. I lived out of state for 12 years and I would tell everyone who I come across of where I came from and who I played for. I'll tell them about the two small communities coming together to form one team and I was never once ashamed about that or embarrassed I would always tell that story with pride and when, when you guys put that jersey on put it on with pride and remember who you are and where you come from that is BD good luck hey guys John Servos class of 2002 just want to wish you good luck on Saturday let you know that you have a bunch of friends family and alumni wishing you the best go get the win Go Patriots! Hey there guys, Tanner Handy, captain of the 2017 team, most of you know. Heard you guys made it to a district championship. I'd love to see you guys go further. Good luck. Gentlemen, you've worked hard all season long at becoming better football players, at turning this team into an undeniable, unstoppable force. I know I'm proud of you. I know this community's proud of you. Bring us home a district championship, baby. Let's go! Hey guys, Josh Rowe here. Uh, and Nate Hoffman. We are the captains of the 2012 district champs, and uh, we'd like to see you put another trophy in that case. Good luck, boys. Hey, BD, I just wanted to congratulate you guys on a great season so far. And I wanted to let you in on a little secret. Every person that's ever set foot on that football field has fear inside of them. The key is to fight through that fear 
Don't back down from it. Push it away. Fight through it. Put it on the other opponents. Give them so much fear, they can't handle it. And from what I've seen this season, they've got a lot to fear. Go get them, BD. Morning workouts. The best. Keep going. Keep waking up. I'm Joel Masolowitz, uh, graduated 2002, uh, was a part of some Great Britain Deerfield teams from 1998 to 2001, and I just want to wish you guys good luck in the game on Saturday. Uh, really pumped uh, to be able to be there um, on the sidelines uh, this upcoming Saturday, been into a couple games. It's been exciting to see you guys progress as a team here all year long. Um, been awesome that you guys are able to carry on that winning tradition and believe in your hearts that you guys are going to win this game and continue on to the state championship. I believe it. Um, your coaches believe that. Your community believes that. But the only people that matter are you guys. As long as you believe that, it can happen. Go BD. BD for life. What's up, BD? Yep. Ron Shields here. 20 years later. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know how proud I am of you guys. All right? I'm getting ready to head out to practice, and uh, there's nothing like going to practice every day. And you guys still get to practice right now because you're in the playoffs. It's something special. You're about to win your another district championship for Britain Deerfield, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you guys. And just never forget how lucky you are. The chance that you get to go out and play football, put on a monster hat, get out in the cold, you're not that cold, never forget that as I tell my players, it's really not that cold out, it's all a mindset. But uh, getting out there, getting to practice, play football, the greatest game ever invented, there is nothing like it. And uh, I'm proud of you guys, and uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'll be there on Saturday, and I can't wait to see you guys play. Uh, I've seen you guys play about three or four times this year, and I'm just really proud of everything you've done. Um, some of the best times of my life was playing high school football, and you guys are in it. Just, just. Just don't ever forget how lucky you are, all right? And never take it for granted that you get to play because uh, some kids want to get to play and they don't get to, but you guys are still playing. So go out there, play great, and I'm proud of you guys. Thanks. Hey, Dylan, man. I haven't seen you since uh, 2018 BD football, man. Oh, it's been a long time. Huh? It has. Those Patriots, they were supposed to, they were supposed to lose week one, weren't they? Yeah, by like 30. I think they pulled it off, though. Oh, they did? Yeah. How have they been doing? Have you, been, have you followed them? I think they're making the playoffs this year. They made they, the playoffs? They won the first game. They won the first game. They oh, won. Yes. Is that the 2019 that? Patriots right there? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Guys, we are so proud of all the things that you guys have accomplished. We've been here since they day won. one, and we are ready to continue this road together. And as Nico would say, Hey, baby, we are in week 11. Let's go. Books were the down the street with the big pool way down low. Ain't no sound but the sound of speed. Machine guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Out of the doorway, the bullets rip. To the sound of the beat, yeah. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the dust, yeah. Hey, we're gonna get you to another one bites the dust.